Hey there graphic designers, today we're going to take a look at the perspective grid tool. I'm going to break this video down into two section, sections. The first section here is going to be covering the perspective tool, how to get it onto the screen, manipulate it. The second video will be going over how to actually draw in perspective and move things around in it. So our perspective tool is this guy in the middle right here with the grid pattern. When I click on it, it's going to default as a two point perspective for us. Um, there are ways of changing to a one and three point perspective, which I'll show you guys a little bit later on in the video. Right now, we're going to take a look at the little diamonds and circles that are all around on this grid. The first diamond, which is down here at the bottom on either side, controls the location. So if I take and move them around, my overall grid will shift. The diamond up above it controls the horizon line. So if I drag this down, we get more of a street view. If I drag it back up, we're back up in the air a little bit. The diamonds that are right along on the actual grid control how much of the grid we're actually viewing. So if I drag it inward, we see a little bit less. If I drag it out, we see more of that grid. At a certain point, it stops rendering the grid. Um, we are able to still draw further back in perspective. It's just that at a certain point, these blue uh, grid pattern will take and just be a solid blob, so they stop showing you guys the grid. Um, top one here controls how much of the grid showing from the top. This diamond down here in the middle controls the size of the grid. So if I drag it up, we see more or less. There is a more precise way of controlling that if you want to use the grid to actually draw on. And then these three little targets right here represent the location of the actual plane. So the guy on the left, you can see the little orange line coming out of it is going to control the orange plane. So I could drag it out if I wanted to. The one on the right is the blue plane. And the one at the bottom is the green plane. So we're able to manipulate and move those around. Um, if we don't like looking at the grid, you guys can hold Alt. And if you click on the grid, it'll turn to a solid blue. If I click again, I keep moving it on accident it'll disappear and one more time brings us back to the grid pattern so we can alter the way that it looks like now if we want to change the overall look of this if we want to look at a one point or three point I'm gonna come up to view I'm gonna come down to perspective grid and you can see we got a one point perspective two point and three point so our one point has one vanishing point off in the horizon sort of like standing in the middle of the street and having buildings on either side. Um, all the same buttons are here. There's just fewer of them because it's only one vanishing point. So we can move the plane to be on either side if we're drawing buildings on either side of us. A three point is more of a bird's eye view looking down at the building. Um, so we got one, two, three vanishing points with this one. For this project that we're doing, we generally only use a one point or a two point. If you want to experiment with the three point, go for it. Um, the other options that we have in here, uh, we can hide the grid. There's rulers that we can take and show. Um, snap the grid is on right now, but I never really use snap the grid. I'm gonna turn that one off. We could lock the grid, um, and then we could define the grid. So if we know that we want a 30 degree viewing angle instead of the 45 that we're looking at right now, if we know we want a grid point every, um, and we could set this to inches, if we want a grid every quarter inch, um, we could alter these. We can play with the colors, so if you don't like the blue, orange, and green, you can make them a whole bunch of different colors here and different opacity. So if we want to see it a little bit lighter, we can do that. And when you hit OK, all those changes take place, and your grid pattern changes. Now, before you start working on your actual project, um, I suggest taking and getting the grid looking exactly how you want it to look, and then not moving it at all. Because if you start moving planes around, Things don't line up in perspective like they should. 